Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to be designing this shifter fork. So to start, start a new part file. And we are the first thing we are going to do is draw this cylinder. So I'm just going to come to sketch, select sketch. And looking at my plane, I know I'm going to draw it on the front plane. So I'll move my origin point over here and draw my circle. Add my dimension which is two and extrude it back. So we're going to feature extrude. You want to extrude it in the opposite direction and the distance is six and click OK. Good. So the next thing we are going to do is draw this feature over here. So on our right plane, which is going through our cylinder, draw a sketch, normal two, so what you want to do is draw a line from the origin point coming down, draw a circle, and draw another line kind of going in this direction. So now, holding down the control key, select the circle and the line, make it tangent. Select this line and this circle, make it tangent. And we can draw another line up here. So you can have something like that. Then we'll just start trimming off. So I'm using trim to closest. Um, I'm going to press Control Z. The reason why that delete is because my line is not touching my circle. So make sure that all your line is touching your circle. So it's sticking out. So now I'll press trim to closest and I'll just trim off that part of my circle and this excess line. So I have that shape. Now I can add my dimensions. The distance from the center to the center of that circle is 2.12. So from that origin point is 2.12. And click OK. So that is this dimension over here. And the radius for this circle is 0.76. And the distance from the edge to that point, so this line up here, this line is 2. So I have to uh, sketch is fully defined. The next thing we can actually do is we can add the circle on this. So we can add the extra circle, which is there. And that is 0.68. So select 0.68. So we have our shape. It's fully, it's fully defined. Our sketch is fully defined. So now we can go to feature, extrude. And we are extruding it by the mid plane. And the distance is going to be two. So it's right there, two. And click OK. So the next thing we are going to be drawing is this feature because the only dimension that is given to us is we know from this face to the face of this circular feature is 0.34. We only know that this is 0.58. So all we can do is come to reference geometry plane and you want to offset this plane back so you flip it back 0.34 and click OK. So now on that plane we are going to draw this circular feature. So select that plane, sketch, normal two, and I'm just going to draw a circle up here. And we know that the circle is on the same origin point as is vertical to the origin point of this cylinder. So click this point and your origin point and make it vertical, add a vertical relation. And the dimension from the center point of that circle to this center point of this cylinder where our origin point is, is four. So we're just going to add another dimension. That's going to be four. The diameter for this circle is four. And that is right here. And our circle is fully defined, but let's cut half of it off. So Draw a line from this quadrant to that quadrant and trim off the one on the top. So we have something like that. And now we go to feature, extrude, and we want to extrude this back. And the distance is going to be 7.748 and click OK. Good. So we have that. So the next thing we want to do is draw this feature, which we know 
By looking at this shape, it looks like this picture is in the center of this circular part. So now we can come to reference geometry plane, select this face and select that face and it makes a plane in the middle and click OK. So now select that plane and sketch and number two. So what I will do is draw a corner rectangle, something like that. Click this sense, this line and click that point and holding down the control key you select both and have the midpoint relation so we have a midpoint relation meaning that now this part is just symmetric and we know that the distance of this is two so the distance because this is tangent to that so we can either um, select this line and that and make it tangent or we can add a dimension of two so we'll just make it tangent so as this updates this will always update with it and the next thing we need to do is click this edge and that top edge and make it collinear and we have a fully defined sketch so we go to feature extrude this time by the mid plane and the distance is going to be 0.5 and click ok so we have our feature the next thing we can start doing is cutting the pieces out of it. So let's hide this plane so we don't need it anymore. So right click on it, plane one and plane two and hide it. I'm going to improve my image quality because it is, it is lagging. So I'm going to change that, click OK. And now I'm going to start with this. So click on this space, sketch. So number two. What we want to do is let's convert this circle because this circle is the same as this shape you are seeing over there. So we'll click on that edge, convert entity. So we convert it on the face we are drawing our sketch on. So I'm just going to come number two. I'm going to draw a corner rectangle and I'm going to add my dimension from here to, to here is 0.5. From here, so here is also 0.5 and let's click on this top line and this bottom edge select both and make it collinear so now we can trim off this excess once we don't need so trim trim to closest i'll trim off this part this line that line and that line so i have that shape and now i can go to feature extrude cut and select up to next and click OK. Good. So the next thing we can do is cut this hole. So select this space, sketch, normal two, and draw your circle. And the dimension is let's pick the upper limit, which is 1.424. But if you want to pick a number that's between both, you can add both together and divide it by two. So, but we're just going to pick the upper limit for this example. Click OK. And we are going to feature, extrude cut, and up to next. Click OK. And the next thing we are going to do is cut this top part. So click this space, sketch, number two, then we will draw a circle. Click the center point of that circle and click this edge. So let me try that again. Select that edge and the center point of that circle and you get your relation add a concentric relation. So that means this circle is concentric to that circle. And now we can add our dimension, which is uh, 2.76 and feature extrude cut and by the mid plane um we don't even need um we don't need to do by the mid plane so just blind and we can do up to next so we're cutting that feature off so click ok so our part is done the next thing we have to do is add our dimension it says round and fillet is 0 0.06 if otherwise when they're not shown so 
we have our first fillet over here which is shown which is 0.12 so we'll press fillet and 0.12 and it is going to be this edge this edge that edge and that back edge and click ok then the other fillet is when fillets are not shown for this one and this edge is telling us that it's 0 0.06 so we'll select 0 0.06 type in 0 0.06 in there and we want to select this edge that edge and this edge and I believe it's on the back edge too so we'll select this edge and it is on the side too so we'll select that edge and this and that and click OK so the last fillet we want to add is I believe that is also on the inside so we can edit this point too so edit and we can select this inside edge as well so select this inside edge select that face to fully add it so those are all the face and now click OK. So what I did is I just right click on that fish, fillet, right click on it, edit it and select more edges to add your fillets to. So the last one is 0.24. So we click fillet and change our dimension to 0.24. And we'll add it to this edge and that edge and click OK and that is how you create this part thank you guys I hope you find it helpful thank you and if you have any question please leave it in the comment section and I will see you in the next tutorial bye